Hey there. Some of you have asked me how to adjust a bit 10, a bit 1, a Rockford 360, or any other digital type EQ crossover processor. And this is a quick show of how we do it. It's a oscilloscope we use to adjust the amplifiers with. And with this particular pit 10, we have software that we use to control it all. But here you can see we have the EQ and the crossover settings, time alignment, select which speaker. So we can select the rear speakers here or front speakers to equalize. We can set them independent or link them together so the EQ will control them together or independently, front, rear, and subwoofer. <clears throat> it also has a auxiliary input, which we're using right now for the iPod. And this is called a real-time analyzer and this with the pink noise track shows us the output of the stereo system as we can see right here we have a huge spike in the higher frequencies and then a drop I mean uh, on the lower frequencies and then a drop off on the high frequencies this is on the rear speakers I'm gonna give this an RTA and show you what it's like after okay, we're done well we got the EQ adjusted here using the RTA and as you can see now we have a much flatter response so slow this down to a medium you can see it's pretty damn flat we'll do some more fine adjusting to get it perfectly flat and then we'll adjust to our personal liking after that on the equalizer there you go that's how you adjust a digital EQ processor